Hey everybody, welcome back to Hide SDM's Let's Play. Okay, you already know this title. We're now going to continuing what we left off, which is basically checking around Skyloft. I could do this at a later time, but I don't feel like it. Hello, and welcome to the item check. Want to put stuff in, from your pouch into storage? Okay. Want to take something out of storage? That's fine. I'd say that's pretty good quality customer service right there. I mean, with what I, with that look on her face, I'd say that's pretty good. So is there anything in your pouch or in storage you want to move? Um, let's see if I do have something. All right, let's see it. I don't, yeah. Another disadvantage. All your items from storage get removed. Okay, thank you, come again. Just like that. Uh, you know, I don't feel like talking to him. This is Crew, and he is a retired individual. His grandson is a rescue knight. Is a rescue knight. Rescue heroes always save the day. Who saves those who fall off this off Skyloft? Why well, obviously they miss one? He delights in hearing passerbys at the bizarre restaurant mention mention his grandson's heroic deeds. Only one thing to do when you're tired, get some sleep. That people right there is words of wisdom for the century. There's only that there is the truth of the millennium. When you're tired, get some sleep. The end. You can sleep anywhere if there's a bed, you know? Skull is a different place after the sun goes down. That's not a lie. Find a bed and take a nap to sleep until night, but there's kind of curious things to enjoy at night. Like dying. His name is Dobos. Dodo! Oh wait, no, that's somebody else. Never mind. I think he's supposed to be like a dove. He is a great lover of food. A self-styled gourmet, he is often found, found at the Bazaar's restaurant. Let's see what he has to say. Sir, so you're white becoming a knight now, right? Congratulations! Thank you! People are so nice. I'm sure there's still plenty of you don't know. Don't forget to press too if you need a point or two. You know, so far he's been really the most useful. And yeah, like, not all, like, all, everybody actually have names. They're not just like minor characters that are just like, oh, you just having to talk to them. No, they all have names. This makes this game beautiful. It makes it more connecting. Her name is Piper. She is a skilled cook. My stepmother is actually a pretty good cook. And me and my stepbrother are pretty good cooks too. I'm usually sous chef though. But I'm pretty good with, I'm okay with that. You should see some of our crazy adventures. Oh my goodness. Our culinary ideas get like epic meal time crazy almost. She is the mother of the mischievous Gully. In addition to running the restaurant at the bazaar, she is also a food experimenter who is always trying to find new recipes. Alright, let's see what she has to say. Next, a dash of pepper. Delicious. Another culinary delight ready to be sa savored and enjoyed. And you never know what she actually makes. And it's weird talking, just that sound she makes. It sounds like she's having an orgasm or something. Then again, one time me and my stepbrother made like 100% bacon burgers. Not like those pathetic Wendy's or Burger King bacon burgers where they just have like two strips of bacon on top. I'm talking about a ground bacon, bacon wrap, bacon cheeseburgers. 100% bacon, actually more like 98 because the only things that aren't bacon are the cheese and buns. That is a real bacon burger. It was food gasmic. That me and my stepbrother invented a new word, food gasm. It was basically that, so I guess that's why she's making those noise, that noise. I don't know. Just a hunch, I guess. Oh! 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 No, oh, excuse me. This is gonna be useful. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is gonna be extremely useful. Considering that, um, some points in the game, it reflects the. Oh yeah, you can make pumpkins. You can. Oh! Oh! This is fun! Hey! Yo! 
<laughs> it's great when you throw that at people. They're like, what just, what was that? I just got attacked by a pumpkin. Oh, this, this chick. This is, um, uh, Rhina. Warna? Whatever. She is the creative wife of Jack Amar, the resident repairman of Skyloft. She is said to have a limitless, limitless imagination and is often rumored to be the inspiration behind her husband's work. Ah, oh, so she's kind of a lot like me. That's nice. Someone to relate to. Hi. Hi, oh, she sounds so nice too. Have you seen Queek Kukiol anywhere? I swear, that child can disappear in the blink of an eye. She's quite a magician. I know quite a few people like that. Those people are just the worst at trying to play hide and seek with. Oh! Guess what? You can come on this side now! Holy crap! Oh! Skyloft Stag. Mine! You caught one. One. Oh, that's sad. Sky Stag Beetle! These bugs are really popular with the children in Skyloft. Their pinches pack a lot, pack a lot of crunch. So watch your fingers. I have so many bugs. I have like a redundant amount of bugs. Um. Oh, there's um. I don't remember her being over here. Anyways, this is Oriel. Like the Baltimore Orioles. She's the, I think, the only person whose name is actually a actual bird name. <laughs> like, what? Spot on. A down-to-earth young woman, she has significant experience dealing with loft wings, even for a resident of Skyloft. <laughs> that bird brain. She says she shares her enthusiasm for birds with her older brother, Pero. What? Is this speed? Help us, Sparrow! African or European? I don't know. Hi. Oh, so you won this the wing ceremony and graduated to the senior class. I can tell by the handsome knight's uniform you're wearing. It looks very dashing on you. One step closer to knighthood, eh? I think she was trying to hit on me. I don't know. Oh my goodness. You know what? You know, we just, we just got to. Oh, we just have to. There's just no avoiding this. It must be done. This is a crazy lady. Her name is Gossel. I think that's how it's pronounced. I probably butchered it. Over. And she's a bit of a demanding lady. She is the mother of the gear peddler Rupin. She hates house cleaning but adores antiques. I recommend keeping a safe distance from her. I really wish I was not NCS so I can do my mad so I can do his mad gypsy voice. Ah! I love to collect antiques, you know. All the things you see in my house are very old and valuable. Be sure you don't break anything. And this is hilarious. This is hilarious. Watch. Sit. <laughs> that made me jump like crazy the first time that happened. Oh, I guess it's okay as long as you're going to just sit. But listen, that is an expensive chair, and if you get it dirty, I can be held responsible for what happens. Oh my gosh! The second I saw that, I was like, and I'm out of here. Bye. I'm going to not sleep for about two days. Bye. It kind of actually, now that I think about it, it kind of reminds me of that one episode from. Kung Fu Panda Legends of Awesomeness where it was like trespass this and you will they had this sign it was like for this territory it's like trespassers where their head be he, will have their be beheaded ears wrapped around their heads and boiled with lettuce see see behind hmm? oh and they look behind see picture below <laughs> And then the guards appear and they just say the exact same thing and but they actually stop it in time saying, yeah, we know we read the sign. And I'm just bringing pumpkins. And there's not much I guess there is actually. Um yeah, I was actually kinda of disappointed they closed school today. That's why I'm actually like right here right now. They closed school today. I'm disappointed and most people will be like 
You crazy man? Being in school, you should be happy. I should be happy. Except, like, in my life, school is sadly one of the highlights of my weekdays. I have, like, minimal brain, like, Petrus. I have minimal brain stimulation. Outside of school, like, seriously, of my weekdays, besides jam sets, well, not jam session anymore, it's not called access, but probably sometime in the future, that would be even incorrect, so, whatever. And that, respawn. The heck? Get over here! And, um, anime club, which actually happens after school. But besides that, those things are like the only... School is basically the highlights of my weekdays. Which is... Kind of pathetic. Oh yeah, I don't have a bug name. This is Gully. He is highly a highly mischievous boy. He is the son of Piper. A food researcher and is known to have an interest in insects. What's up, Gully? Hey, look up there. It's Beetle's air shop. It's here. He sells bug nets there. I want one so bad. There's a bell hanging from the shop. If And I hear if you ring it, Beetle will stop for you and pick you up. That bell is off the ground. You have to launch something at it to have any hopes of ringing it. I've tried a lot of things. I tried throwing pots. I didn't even try throwing a pumpkin at it. And... It's not easy. If you actually want to get it properly, you're going to have to do stuff first. Oh my gosh! What fire! Oh, she stopped. This is Jack Amar, Skylost resident, middle aged romantic repairman. He's tasked with maintaining the island's structures. He's, con he's considered himself an artist. His best work is said to be the scene showing off Skylost's colorfully tiled houses. Oh, that's nice. Hey! Hey there, hot Astrium. You know what's funny? Folks here call this the Light Tower. It's supposedly here to help people find Skarloff and prevent them from crashing into us. But I've never seen any light coming out of it. I wonder who built it. And why? You should climb all the way to the top anyway. It is one amazing view of the goddess from up there. Me? What about you? Me? No, thank you. I'm good right down here. Me and Heights, we don't get along. Oh, that's okay, man. It's okay to be scared. I don't blame him. Like me, I am never going on the King to Ka, ever. I don't care if you bribe me or try to threaten me with death. I will never go on it. Unless you get me like crunk or so doped up that I can't even think straight. Even then, I'm probably not going up. The sound of the goddess song beneath the light's radiance. Unto, unto our chosen hero shall fall the piercing ray of guidance. Whatever that means. And he's right, look at that view. That's that is a beautiful view. Look at it. So pretty. I almost forgot I had to say a cloth. I was like, wait, what am I doing? Um, I don't feel like going. Actually, I can. Uh oh. My camera battery is dying! That's not good! Uh Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. I'm in hero mode also. I gotta be extremely- oh my god. Everything is dying around me! The only thing I don't care about dying right now is the freaking snow. That's about it. Ah! Booter flies. Uh, I have no idea how long this battery will last much longer, but I can keep going. Um, so... Or I can just stop early, and we can start the next book. Oh, there he is! That's one guy I was looking for. This is Pero, a straightforward and honest young man. He exhibits remarkable skill at handling lockings, even for a Skyloft resident. NERD! He is... He and his youngest sister, Oriole, are both known for their strong affinity for loft wings. Also, kind of like Pocahontas. I heard you won the wing ceremony. Congratulations, that's incredible. Hey, 
You don't seem all that happy about winning. What's the matter? Um, let's see. My girlfriend just fell off this, fell out of the sky. And you know, I'm pretty upset about that. What about you? That is, that is indeed a very bizarre smokestack. Huh. Oh well. Um, there is one more guy here on this island specifically at the moment. That's... Oh no, there's two people. Three. There's a lot! Uh, I think this is the right house. If I get cut off, then I'll just be sad. Yes! Crap! He's not here. Oh, there's a diary here. That's nice. There's a really weird bed. And this is probably the most epic bed you'll ever see. Bamboo. 100% bamboo shoots. Even the bottom part, bamboo shoots. I bet even the sheets are made out of bamboo. This dude is made of bamboo winning. Bamboo-ception. And he does, and it's for a good reason too. Well, since he's not there, there's only one more person I can really talk to. 